Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be doing a video reviewing some stuff, oh my gosh, what is it doing? Today I'm going to be doing a video on, um, a new topic <clears throat> that came out, well it's, it's been here for a long time, and it is how to Train Your Dragon 2, uh, it is a sequel to, um, How to Train Your Dragons, and I'm thinking of starting a new series called My Thoughts On, and just saying my thoughts on things that have been uploaded to Netflix, um, films, TV programs for kids slash preteens, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new How to Train Your Dragon 2. I mean, it came out <clears throat> a couple of years ago. I still have a cold, so my voice is really croaky, by the way, guys. But it came out a couple of years ago. And today, I thought I was going to review it like I did with um, Spirit Riding Free. Uh, you can go check that out. That was my last My Thoughts On video. You can go do that. Today I'm going to be doing my thoughts on how to train your dragon 2 um, versus kind of versus how to train your dragon number 1 um, I my overall thoughts upon this was that it was a really good film I really liked it compared to how to train your dragons 1 it really uh, did come off of How to Train Your Dragon 1 as well. It was still the same ideas of How to Train Your Dragon 1, but with more uh, different things happening, and it was really good, and I definitely advise you watch both the films. Um, yeah, it is a really nice film. Uh, the first thing that I thought was really good about it, it still has the same nice animation that the first one always had and it's really good to watch it is so amazing and the animation is just so well done and it's the same for the first one as well uh, they're both lacking the same quality they, no they still they both have the same high quality animation within the two of them, uh, so that it is watchable throughout the film. It's also not cringy at all. It is an amazing film. Uh, it's, as well, again, like for, aimed at kids, but even some adults can enjoy it and watch it, and it's really good. So, yeah, you can watch that in your spare time. So, it's also meant for kids but it's not too childish it's good for older viewers as well and it's aimed at all ages really um there are some bad points about it every film has at least one or two bad things about it even if it's an amazing film um like some things just don't add up in it uh, same for the first one, but um, it has the same overall things happening in the film. Uh, it is the same kind of thing, just more upbeat, more amazing. Uh, by the way, all of these my thoughts on are spoiler free, so you don't have to go and watch the film before you watch this. Um... It still has the same excitement, same atmosphere, same I want to keep watching this as the first one does. And yeah, it's really amazing. I apologise for my voice. So yeah, uh, you can go to your latest stores, watch this. It is on Netflix, but the first one is on Netflix, I think. But the second one isn't. So if you want to watch the second one, you're going to have to go to the cinema or by the DVD, or maybe it has been up on TV or something, but you can't 
get it. So that is my overall opinion on How to Train Your Dragon 2. There's also a game of How to Train Your Dragon, and that is pretty good, pretty following off, good animations, really nice graphics. Um, it follows off the um, first film and the second film. Also, it um, has... Uh, it has a lot of good, um, how do I say this, plot lines, and it's really amazing, you should go watch it, better than Spirit Riding 3, definitely, and this is something that I do recommend you to watch, and I also recommend you to watch the film of Spirit if you haven't yet done that, so see you guys uh, in my next video, goodbye.